Hi, I'm Veronica Jeans, and I have Dr. Alexa Brooke Alexander with me and Zach Bacaris. And uh, Zach, introduce yourself, and then Brooke, and then we'll go straight into our questions. And it's all about the COVID virus and what we should and shouldn't be doing with our vitamins, right? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that, Veronica. Yes, uh, Zach Bacaris, uh, molecular biologist uh, with the Cassie Rejuvenation and the Sacmet Alexander Clinic. And uh, yeah, just we're going to talk a little bit about some of the supplements that can work with it. But I think really I'll let Brooke uh, introduce herself and, uh, and go from there. Hi, I'm Dr. Brooke Alexander with the Sockman Alexander Clinic, and I'm double board certified doctor of osteopathic medicine in family practice and osteopathic manipulative therapy. And I've spent the last 26 years researching vitamins, hormones in both men and women, and bariatric medicine specializing in weight loss and exercise. I'm glad to be here today and answer your questions and talk about vitamins. Thank you. Great, great. So great. We've heard from the former CDC chief, Dr. Tom Friedman, stating that taking vitamin D3 could reduce infection risk from COVID-19 virus. Is that true or not? <laughs> Well, yes, many of the international studies have shown proven risk. In fact, I was going toe to toe yesterday with one of my good colleagues, wife actually, um, who um, is a teacher and a medical student out of the East Coast. And for as many um, far-fetched studies as he was talking about, I was proving um, over and over again through multiple oncology studies studies internationally um, and pediatric studies. In fact, I have the vitamin D3 here. This is a nature's made, but there's many other ones chewable that my own family takes. It's 50 micrograms. It's 2000 IU. That's the normal recommended dose for adults and children to take daily. In addition to your normal um, multivitamin and your normal daily intake of foods through the RDA, that, um, that will not harm or hurt you. Why? Because we believe that we're no longer able to absorb it well into our intestinal brush epithelium. And the American Academy of Pediatrics came out in the American Journals of Pediatrics and other sources in 2008. That's over 12 years ago. And said that all children being born internationally, worldwide, with vitamin D deficiency, and that pregnant women internationally were all insufficient or completely deficient. When you draw a blood level of vitamin D 25 hydroxy, the normal levels are 30 to 100 nanogram per milliliter. And that truly the anti-aging and longevity associations and multiple American medical associations across the United States say 30 is still quite low, but particularly these longevity and anti-aging societies say, you know what? That's barely enough to get in. You're having bone leaching then and risk for osteoporosis, osteopenia, cancers, rheumatologic diseases, type one and type two diabetes. You really need to be 65 to 85. How much? How much? How many nanograms should 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 we have? Uh, I I just said that. Did you hear? No, I know I you're thinking about like, your question. Yeah, I said I you should mind. be sixty-five to oh, eighty-five. 65. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Ah, wow, and that's if, half the amount. Wow. If you're actively fighting disease such right. as Alzheimer's, dementia, any one of your colon, breast, colorectal cancer, you should be near as a hundred as possible, and. Um, that's what I would do with my own patients. I've been, as you see any of my social medias, I've been former chief medical officers of very large Southern California FQHCs, federally qualified health centers, where we see as many as 150,000 patients annually in five counties, Los wow. Angeles County, wow. Orange County, North San Diego County, Riverside County, San Bernardino County. And that the American Academy of Pediatrics in 2008, the recommended statement was 400 IU, international units, for newborn babies. Wow. And what he, Dr. Friedman did not mention was, what is the one shot given to all newborn babies at birth? No idea. Vitamin K. Oh, really? Oh. So, yes. so I saw, I saw Dr. Every Della, baby. I, I, Dr. Alexander, um, I saw on your social media that along with vitamin D3, you advocate vitamin K, so specifically yes. K2. And I thought K2 was a mountain. I didn't, I've never heard of vitamin also K2. Also a pair of skis. <laughs> I used to be a snow skier or K2s 35 days a year. Yeah, um, so what is K2? 
K2 is a vitamin, is a, is a differential vitamin K. K2 specifically is arguably the leading anti-aging vitamin. Atherosclerosis, wow. which is the lead, which basically is the hardening and the laydown of plaque in your arteries. And this vessel stiffness is made worse by excess calcium. Many leading cardiologists across the United States will do what's known as a calcium score. They can literally tell by a simple little scan. It requires nothing invasive. You just order it. It's like a little mini CT. It's very little um, radiation. And they can tell the radiologist read how much calcium is in your coronary arteries. I will never forget there's a plug. He's in Upland, California, Ontario, California. My cardiologist uh, professor at Western University, Dr. Roger Dubman. I actually did a rotation with him as well. He's a runner and we had to run. I would look at him six floors, 10 floors of a hospital. Let's take the stairs. I said, for what? He says, I'll beat you to the top. So I had to chase him up and down the stairs. But, you know, I, I, I was in exercise fitness. I, I trained at Arnold Schwarzenegger's gym and I I've always, always been into fitness. And so um, at any rate, it, you would always need to be physically fit in your mind and body. And so, but Roger Dubin taught us so much at school. And then if you rotated with him about calcium score, atherosclerosis and vessels and eating healthily. And so again, eating the foods that will be right and the vitamin and nutrition and the calcium itself and the vitamin K2 will help render that the calcium will not lay down in your plaques and in your arteries so and in your like arterials. It's like a descaler. It's like a descaler. Exactly, like a rotor rooter. Oh, like it's, a rooter. Like a, it's a yes. vitamin rotor rooter of your arteries. Yes, okay. yes, yes, right. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, All right. Well, that okay, so, the K, so you've got to take K2 with the D3, right? Yes, once the calcium is absorbed or released in the blood, it still needs to be told where to go. Yes. That is why the vitamin K2 status is crucial to healthy, healthy calcium in the body. Cardiovascular disease is characterized by the atherosclerosis and vessel stiffness. It's the number one cause of death in the United States today for people over the age of 50. Wow. And even sometimes wow. even lower than that. Vitamin K2 is always still being evaluated as a means to reduce that risk. Like vitamin D3, vitamin K2 is a whole body benefit. And you're going to need up to 320 micrograms a day, but that's kind of a a higher number. What do I have my family take? 100 micrograms a day. Oh, wow. Is that K2, Dr. Alexander? Is that K2? K2. Yeah. Uh, 100 micrograms MCG as opposed to MG. 100 MCGs. Uh, and that's along with the 65 to 85 micrograms of D3 chewable, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. The 65 to 85 was not the dosage. That was the level you asked me of... Oh what so you should have in your body of the vitamin D 25 yeah. nanograms per milliliter when you do your level of blood. Well, how much vitamin D you should take is 2000 IU daily. Yeah. Can you take yeah. higher? Yes. Depending on certain diseases, you may want to take higher if you have chronic disease. Right. I had told you I have my father's inflammatory rheumatologic disease. I take 10,000 a day. Okay. I use. Wow. And then, and then, so what about omega three? Omega, yes, omega-3s. Omega-3s, um, I also put that on my um, social medias yesterday. It's imperative, and it's biblical. If any of you are any type of religiosity, of any type, you could be following the Torah, Jewish. You could be following Muslims, and you could be reading the Quran, first, second, third editions. You could be any type of Christian-based in the world. Egyptian, Coptic. You could be Catholic. You could be... Um, you know, Greek Baptist, Greek Orthodox, you could, anything, yeah, right? you could be Catholic, you know, Catholic, uh, or just Christian, where, where we go to Rick Warren's church in the Saddleback. So, so what, it could be in so what, church. What does this got to do with the omega-3s? It, they told you to eat the, the basic high grain d diet. It's an omega-6 to omega-3, two to one ratio. It's the greens and that. And so that's why people argue, no, my diet's best. No, my diet's best. Oh, do you, yeah, remember, you be you remember, vegan. Do you and the argument is no. If you look at the, those original first edition 
what you want to call a Bible or what you want to call a, a Quran or a, or a Torah, what it says is, no, n- don't do anything in excess, high grains, vegetables, the things that come from the earth. And yes, if you want to be a vegan, fine, but you can still have animal products. But just if you look at it, the animal products based on it's the blue zone diet put out by National Geographic, finally written in 2000. 2000- 16. What are the five zones I've mentioned before? There, we mentioned one of them. Uh, he's from one of them. The Crete, which is Greece. It's all uh, actually, it's a uh, Akaria, uh, 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 Greece. It's Akaria, Greece. It's also Sardinia. It's also Costa Rica, Okinawa, Japan. And the fifth is where I'm from and my my wonderful colleagues, Dr. James Monahan, Loma Linda, California. What are they? They're complete vegans. They're the, um, you know, the Seventh Day Adventists. So they do not drink alcohol, they do not smoke, no caffeine, and complete vegans. And you're like, but wait, the Okinawa Japans eat sushi. And you're like, but wait, the the Greeks, they Greeks can smoke, they drink like fish, and they're all about eating the fresh fish on the tuna, cod, salmon, mackerel, and, and, and the shellfish, and the lobster right on the beautiful Greek islands. Well, of course, but olive oil and avocado, and the Sardinians are avocados and all the stir fry vegetable do, do lamb. You remember, Brooke, do you remember, Brooke, we were talking about how in December 2017, the ACC came out with that uh, major apology statement, which was like buried under because of the whole Me Too thing with uh, with Harvey Weinstein. The, 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 the yes, early well, the Me statement. Too being a, a woman, that had to happen. I mean, we're still now being plummeted saying, well, isn't that over yet? So it, that could not be under or overshadowed. I mean, I've been a prominent for three decades working with Dr. Tracy Kimball on the Wind Foundation, going into 78 countries and 50 states. In fact, China actually picked up our international rights for the pageant. And in 2012, they announced a first ever domestic violence policy. So I don't want to over or undershadow but, 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 the hashtag. But, 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 no, 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 Just wait, I'm going to say it, that you, because it's a little under overshadowed, the Me Too, that was so important, and we do want to say it was first by an African-American woman that started it for all of the African-American women, because it's so important, but let's go on. I do want to say, in December in 2017, the American College of Cardiology made a blanket statement. It was only by two news channels, so no one heard it. They said, we must apologize to you, the American citizens. We... Hi, Katarina. We made we made a huge mistake in the 1960s, six decades ago. So, so, so hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Now, what is this going to do with our with the vitamins that we have to take? I'm going to tell going you way over six. Here. Yeah. Yeah, over six decades ago, 60 years ago, we told you Americans to stop eating the omega threes. We thought it was going to cause heart disease and stroke, all the cardiovascular disease. And now six decades later, what we did was we caused it. We caused diabetes type one and two. We caused all the depression and bipolar and all of the you know mental health illness. We caused all the cancers and we were caused the number one still in the USA cause of death. Mm-hmm. And that and, and the number two is cancers. So we caused it. We told you, you literally stopped your omega-3s, which is your cod, salmon, macro herring, your lobster, your beet, your grass-fed beef, your grass-fed butter, your olive oils, your avocados, and you went to strictly your cereals, your pastas, your all your pizzas, and now we caused it. And oops, we apologize. We're sorry. We did the wrong thing. The current American, United Kingdom, European, Mexican, Canadian diet of ratio that should be omega-6 to omega-3, which should be two to one, Mm-hmm. It's now 27 mm-hmm. to 36 to 1, which causes literally all the disease. And it's also caused this to be severely vitamin D, so insufficient and deficient by, we called it multifactorial before we'd explained why we are, but that's causing us to be severely vitamin deficient in all our vitamins. So that's so, how it all works okay, together. So, but w- people are now more aware of taking the vitamins and eating healthier. And let me just quickly... Put your head in the middle. If they the were, why are we at a 27 to 36 to 1 and have all the diseases that were more than we've ever had in six decades? They're not aware. They're, They're not. not. But a lot more people are taking vitamins, right? I agree, I agree, I agree with, 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 with Brooke on this. The people are not aware that it's a 27 to 1 ratio uh, d- 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 deficiency. That's huge. Yeah. That's a massive deficiency. Because they're not they're aware. Three, we've had more diseases than we've the whole, ever the whole, had. Yeah, the monounsaturated uh, cholesterol, uh, you know, all that sort of stuff. People yeah. don't know about that. 
Okay. And absolutely, yes, you know, exactly. I think people aren't aware, and and it's combined with all those things together. But you know, omega threes. Oh, I'll just take a couple of pills. No, mate, you're going to have a lot more than that to really bring it up. Otherwise, you're in, you know, you're in trouble. Exactly. So, so, um, but we are, we are, are we eating healthier or not healthier? I mean, I know that nobody can live on the Greek islands, right? So um, you don't need to be. We we mentioned uh, the before that my patients that I've taken care of. I've taken care of medical patients, which are Medicaid, which are people in the lower income, people even homeless. I, I, again, we are all equal. And I joke around. I, I have Blackfoot. I have Native American Indian, both Cherokee on both sides. You know, people were prejudiced against me because they just look at what I look like and not who I am or where I come from. There's also, um, according to DNA tests, a German, Russian, Irish, but one, 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 one fifth is Native American Indian. However, they, which well, people that that's why they don't guess my age. Tax-free casino. Can you get a tax-free casino? Um, I, I've been asked if I want to join. <laughs> I know people that own them. They're so nice. I, I do know okay. that a lot of the owners, so they're very nice. But I, but I want to tell you though. So you know, you, you shouldn't judge books by the cover. We're, we're we judge everyone these days. And I have patients for 26 years. I worked for hospitals for 32 years. They will literally come in crying, saying you don't understand. And I say, you know, I, I, I do. <laughs> but you know, let's let's get through that and let's just start w with you. But I say, you know. Um, uh, let's just tweak diet. So at the 99 cent store, I'm bringing the 99 cent store and Dollar General stores. I I print them out in various different languages. You know, working at these FQHCs over the last five years, we can have dialects. We have 16 different dialects for one African nation. Even we have Vietnamese, we have Chinese, Japanese, we What's have an F F um, 16. There are federally qualified health centers, and in order to do that, you. Uh, most patients qualify to be seen there. We have to see anyone and everyone who walks through the door. However, um, most of them will be 200% below the poverty level index, mm -hmm. meaning mm -hmm. that they literally are considered what a family of four would make 200% below what your p poverty would be. Yeah. And they're yeah. often homeless. And so, or, or at risk of being homeless. So they may live with many, many families oh, well, and multiple without, people. Without papers, probably, so they feel like they can't go anywhere And they'll be as well. immigrants yeah. from all over the world. That's why I mentioned, and they'll be from the Middle Eastern, from, I, I had Syrian refugees that came from Syria. It would just break your heart. I wanted to just take them all home. My husband's like, what are you doing with those clothes? I'm like, I, I talked my CEO into having closets at the clinics so that my, because my staff, my nurses, the doctors would say, you know, could afford to go to the Goodwill and get a, a dollar coat and it's getting cold now. In, in, in Southern California, we'd have frost warnings because mm -hmm. yeah. the weather's changing. Yeah. It, exactly. It's not just it's getting exactly. warm, it's getting yeah. cold. So we would have lots of rain. The last two years we broke our drought. So, yes. you so, know. Okay, so let's so get the back, to the, let's get back no. to the vitamins. Well, but it's a, the diet as well, but the omega-3, because there's omega-3 diet, uh, you know, it's imperative to get it in your food as well. The omega-3 tablets we were talking about the other day, which are gel capsules or chewables, I actually chew, the, the, there's chewable gummy bear of the omega-3s. The omega-3 foods, there's um, 66 foods you can buy at the 99 cent stores or Dollar General. And they have some of them, now you'd be careful, they, not all of the stores have fresh foods, but some of them do. And you can actually get the omega-3 vitamins there too. And they're a dollar a bottle. Mm, exactly. So, and so well, are, they nine, are they 99 cents a bottle? 99 cents, yeah, exactly. A so dollar. What about PQQ? Yes. Um, I want to talk about a colleague, um, Dr. Richard Gerhauser, and this is Secrets of Underground Medicine. And, you know, he's a wonderful, wonderful colleague. And we were talking about the last, this is our third webinar we've done with you. Uh, thank you so much, Veronica Jeans out of thank Houston, you. Texas. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, he talks about, and you know, we can't talk about mitochondria enough. What does vitamin D do? And we talked about it before. It goes into the nucleolate of every single cell. That's the powerhouse. What, and then what does it do? It goes into mitochondria. You know what he tells mitochondria are? And again, sorry for those of you that don't have a religiosity. Maybe you're Buddhist. Maybe you just can meditate or just... What I told you was just have silence, uh, do do a silence for you for 10 minutes every day by yourself. He calls them the fingerprints of God. Why? Scientists have 
studied these and said that they discovered something amazing. They're not really human in origin. Mitochondria have their own DNA. So they're responsible for all life's processes. And right now, if they're defective and deficient numbers of mitochondria, they're connected to all degenerative diseases, including diabetes, Alzheimer's, cancer, and congestive heart failure. So you asked me about PQQ. Yes. What are the seven yes. steps? Because what happens when you're 90 years old? What are, what, what, why are we talking about COVID-19 and viruses and that type of thing? 95% of your mitochondria are damaged. So what are Kelly Martin, our CEO of Innovium Labs, what is Zach, who, Vicaris, who's our, you know, molecular biologist and myself, double boarded in family practice and putting out longevity books and soon to start a POF trial. Why are we talking about vitamins in the first place? We want to stop and put our bodies in to stop the senescence and go into apoptosis, cell program death, to regenerate our own cells and not need all of the medicines and not need all of the surgeries and not need to die early. And get cancer and Alzheimer's and dementia, right? We want to be with our families and our friends, correct? Yes. So what are the seven steps that don't cost a dime? One, each food that are rich in electrons, which is what we're talking about, healthy foods and fats. Your body strips the electrons from this food and delivers into your mitochondria. Two, drink unfluoridated water. Three, avoid bromide. What is that? It's like a halogen like fluoride. What is it found in processed grains and hot tub and blue cleaning chemicals? Four, maintain a diverse microflora in your gut. What do you do? What I mentioned, taking a probiotic. We mentioned that vitamins. So, and I take 6 billion parts. You can find them anywhere, Target, 99 cent food store, whatever you'd like. I also cultured yogurt. Yogurt, wake up. <laughs> um, number spending several minutes a day, which I mentioned at least 10 minutes, um, some of you 20, a day on deep breathing or meditation to increase your oxygen flow. Right. New York mentioned that since everyone's had to stay home on the order and let's pray or meditate for New York since they have 50% of the cases right now in the United States. So you need to include them in your deep prayer or meditation. Well, yo um, yoga, yoga's breathing. That's what yoga means. Breathe, yes, yes. Breathing. It's all exactly. about breathing. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah, namaste. That, guess what they've done? They've decreased and within that first week 50% of their particles per million of their carbon dioxide emissions. So just by staying at home, 50% went down in less than one week. Can you imagine? Yeah. So, and that's what's causing the ozone problems. So yes, if we exactly. could, if we could do this more, imagine what the world could do. So, and then oxygen is essential to the transfer of electrons in your cells. Did you ever wonder why folks who meditate or practice deep breathing seem to be teeming with energy? See, people ask me, are you on something? How much caffeine have you had today? I'm like, um, no, I'm not on anything. And no, I haven't had my coffee yet. They're like, then why are you full of energy? I do this every day. One of the things that came out in the DO magazine was let journal was to teach your nurses and your doctors and your in nurse practitioners and PAs a deep breathing technique you can do before each patient. And they're like, what's that? So I taught my staff at the um, places I was at the last five years and they said it worked to relax. Yeah. So you take one breath. Let's do a breath. You take one breath in through your nostril deep. And then as you count out, breathe it out through your mouth three times. One, two, three. To your belly button. Yeah, exactly. And, this, and don't you feel most, most women don't breathe properly. We breathe from our chest instead of from yes. our gut, right? Yes. Your so you take one in, so let's do it again, and now you know how to do it. So let's see if you feel better. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. One in for your nose, and then through your mouth with your belly button. One in, and then... Done. Don't you feel better? Okay. And then that's number five. Six, decrease any exposure. And I know we're not doing this because we're all online right now, but to non native electromagnetic fields, EMS, what are those? Computers, tablets, smartphones, and other electronic devices. They destroy your energy and your health. So I make my family, if they're coming to lunch or dinner, turn them off. And then at nighttime, at least an hour or two before bedtime, to decrease any of that. Seven, the last one, most important, PQQ. Begin supplementing with pyroquinolone. Quinone. So it's pyroquinolone, which is one word, and then quinone. Excuse my pronunciation if I speak several languages, which four fluently and eight softly. I don't always get the enunciation, pronunciation. 
No, that's my, that's my, my problem because I speak four languages as well, five languages actually. Exactly. You know how it is. So it's called Vitalin Q or PQQ for short. PQQ is a recently discovered substance. It's found in almost all fruit and vegetables, and it's absolutely essential to mitochondrial health. When animals are deprived of PQQ, they have stunted growth and abundant problems, and then these problems are reversed when PQQ is put into their diet. It's a molecule that's involved in electron transfer in the mitochondria and has the advantage of being an extremely stable mitochondria. So, so PQQ, it's so you, sorry, sorry, I have to, so PQQ, do you have to take that with C Q10? CoQ10. CoQ10. Yes. CoQ10, mm -hmm. yeah. CoQ10, also known as ubiquinone supplement. The CoQ10, my husband takes that, and he was actually prescribed by his doctor out of UCLA, um, was um, proven to support your mitochondria also and give you more, more cellular energy. You can buy any of these supplements online or any vitamin shop. We're soon to have those on our websites as well. It's becoming a very um, popular supplement. And they also think for middle-aged humans to improve cognitive function and um, other studies show prevents the formation with the PQQ of amyloid beta structures involved in Alzheimer's disease. And for my husband, they, the CoQ10 has been shown to help with anyone who might have a slightly elevated cholesterol, so roles in cardiovascular protection Ooh, and modeling. That's very good. Yes. Yes. So you're going so to take, you're going to take this to CoQ10 and the PQQ, PQQ together, right? Yes. Yes. And the PQQ you can buy anywhere as well? Yes. Okay. But we will soon have it on our website, but again, anywhere. And so, again, like my colleague, Dr. Richard Gerhauser says, close your ears if you don't believe in it, but the fingerprints of God. Yeah. Mito so, so, <laughs> <the P> <laughs> so PQQs, CoQ10, isn't that something you work with as well, Zach, with your NMN yeah, products? Yeah, it is. One of the things, we, with NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, yeah. And it's the same, they're, they're, they're connected in the sense that what they do is they, they do something called the spindle access center, the SAC, which is the, the spindle of the chromosome, and it prevents the fraying of the, the genetics. So it's a bit like it prevents getting rust on the chassis of the car. It, 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 so it keeps everything as fresh as possible. And so when we're looking at the fertility side of things, where we're looking at uh, women who want to have children, when you have what's called sexual reproduction meiosis, the, the chromosomes split and they mix up together like a jigsaw puzzle. And so therefore, the uh, older you get, there's up to 30% of your genes will be, as, as Brooke said, will be damaged, which is a very large amount, which increases the level of, of um, uh, miscarriage and uh, the certain defects, things like that. So what this does is it prevents the, the genes being defective or having damage to them. It cleans up the damage. It's a, it's a stabilizer. It's, it prevents them from, from doing that. And that's what we have. We have that uh, available for people at the moment. And anyone can take it, men, women, you know, it's, it's, it's very safe. So, so it's, 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 really, it's really good to take NMN as well then, yeah. right? With everything yeah, else. Yeah, it's very, very good. Yeah. Because okay. it's good because for two reasons. One is the fertility aspect. The other aspect is the mitochondria, the engines of the cell, okay. and it yes. powers the engine of the cell, as I said in the last one, in the yes. last uh, webinar we had. Yes. So that because it powers the engine of the cell, yes. it, it gives you, it revitalizes you and gives you the energy that way and, and gives you the youthful vigor that you have energy that you need to do exactly. if you don't have your coffee in the morning. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So that's, that's basically it. So we know we know now. So a quick a quick run through. We know we have to take our D three, which is hugely important, and we have to, including with that, we have to take our K K two. It's not a mountain; it's a vitamin. And then we have to also very importantly take our omega threes because we're definitely not getting in enough omega threes in our diets, right? And then the PQQ include, which should be taken together with this CoQ ten, and then M and M. Sounds yeah. like um, sounds like those uh, chocolate candies. <laughs> they're, they're M and M, we're N M N. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but they also well, we have, we have all right? this on the website. You can you yeah. can you can order it on the website, and you know, we've got all the stuff. If you need to have those contact details, we can we can provide okay, that. Yeah. So I think what we should do is we can't read that book. <laughs> we're good doctor. It was the about yes. the um. 
Oh, the nouns. Okay, so what we need to do is um, add the link to um, to the chat afterwards, and then so I and I've got to thank you guys very much because I'm I'm really understanding more about vitamins, what we're supposed to be taking, and keeping our health, our bodies healthy nowadays is super super important, right? And yeah. also with um, uh, exercising and taking those ten minutes and and meditating. What, which one, I one, really one, believe is one important last thing, as well. though, just one last thing, which is very interesting, is with the COVID nineteen and all this testing that needs to happen. That the the president put in uh, the nineteen fifties war uh, logistics act or something like that, which means that there will be tests coming out across the board for genetic testing to to determine your metabolic start type. So therefore, those the med medication you take matches your metabolism, whether it's slow, medium, fast, or ultra fast, and so. That's coming out now. It's going to be the next two years. It's going to be across the whole of the country, both the world. Yeah. We're going to have to test everyone. And it's almost like having your blood type done. It's that kind of level of, of testing. It's another marker within your portfolio of what you need to know about your eye color, hair color, your metabolic speed, as well yeah. as your blood type. It's just another yes. thing we're going to become part of it. And that's something that we're part of at the, at the moment. So. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to let you know, um, I'm a strategic advisor for PGX Pod. I had literally 15 minutes with our chief executive officer yesterday. He's literally on the phone day and night with the U.S. government and Chinese government. And as you know, with any pharmacogenomic genetic company right now, the government has them. And so literally buying up all the kits and genetic tests. So I don't want you to have fear or alarm. Please yeah. don't yeah. ask your doctor for drugs that are there. There's now 19 drugs put out through KimRx on 2-2620 that were done by the world's supercomputer to stratify at a 7.4 minus to minus 7.0 to see which drugs could be available. Our current president, Donald Trump, has released two of them that could be working synergistically, azithromycin, otherwise known as a Z-Pak, falling into the erythromycin family, and hydroxychloroquine and or chloroquine. There was some false news media reports stating that a husband and wife took chloroquine. They didn't. They took chloroquine phosphate that's used to, cool, to um, clean um, fish tanks. That made the husband die and the woman, no, the wife, no. go into um, a, a deep um, coma. So please, if you're out there, do not ask your doctors unless you're dying in the ICU for these drugs. Please do not drink bleach either. These are warnings. Do, and the biggest thing you can do is do not fear or go into some type of false panic. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Our well, U.S. government... You could, say, you could say in the, in, in the mortal words of FDR, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Exactly. Yes, it's false evidence appearing real. And so based on me being a strategic advisor and my chief executive officer, they are testing persons right now in our hospitals with genetic testing for COVID-19 and the pharmacogenomics based on four metabolism types so that they're getting the right drugs. We have drugs available and it's more than just those two. So we're trying to make you not fear and realize that our government and the other governments around the world are actively talking to each other. And that we're all working no matter what you believe in, no matter where you're from, and no matter if you're a libertarian, Republican, or Democrat, we are all working together. I just exactly. want to let you know that. Exactly. That's amazing, yes. Okay, thank you very much. And I think we'll get back on again next week. We'll be talking more about what's happening around the world and with our vitamins, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Stay safe, um, everyone. Hope we'll have, have Kelly on the next time if we can. Okay, yes. brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. All right.